Hi, I'm Brenda Walton. I'd like to introduce Laurelwood, my new collection for Free Spirit. Laurelwood is filled with all the things I love. The interplay of rich, vibrant colors and floral-filled lyrical imagery. In my designs, I love to combine subtle layers of antique typography along with my original gouache and watercolor paintings. In the Laurelwood collection, I wanted to bring the beauty of the garden indoors with a color palette that is rich and engaging, inspired by the decorative arts of 1900s Paris. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my inspiration for the Laurelwood collection. When my husband and I travel throughout Western Europe, particularly Paris and London, I take a journal and paints along so I can keep a record of what inspires me. This is one of my journals with paintings that became the basis for the fabric designs in this collection. This painting became the basis for the fabric that you see here. The fabric is called Enchanted Garden. What I love most about this design is the vibrant colors and the fact that the design evolved from the sketch in my travel journal, which is very loose and painterly and combines line art and gouache. It was inspired by uh, one of the really beautiful tile design that I saw at the Museum of Decorative Arts in Paris. And I really love the way that the colors were captured in this illustration. It is a white stripe and a secondary stripe. I think that will be really fun to play with. Printon started with this original illustration, which was an envelope design that was done on craft paper. And the painting was done in gouache and the colors were just so vibrant and lovely. And I thought, well, this would make a really interesting fabric design. It evolved into this really bright and happy with roses, hydrangeas, tulips, and anemones. Scattered little hydrangeas and petals floating across the background. What I think is really exciting about this design is the pop of color you get from that bright citrus background and then the use of bright colors on top of it. Positively stunning. <laughs> Regency is a multi-directional design and it's so charming with these little bouquets on a deep sapphire background. Florette is almost a solid really. It has some really subtle patterning in it. It has silhouetted flowers on the very base layer. It also has a top layer of some typography which came from vintage sheet music. Woodland is really charming and it includes some roses and birds and some butterflies and branches and it's just so lyrical and fun. And this plum, dark plum background really makes those colors sing. You see accent colors of hot orange and French blue magenta and a warm pink and some aqua even. And it just coordinates so beautifully with all the other patterns in the collection. Festoon is really lovely. It has a lyrical quality to it and it's kind of a classic design, almost a stripe. And you can almost hear the birds singing. In the very background, you see these lovely swirls and then a painted stripe. Free Spirit was able to capture the subtlety of that design so beautifully. Arbor is a coordinating fabric that uh, really goes with everything. And it's available in two different colorways. This one is called Mango. The background is a beautiful warm peach. And then the design on top is a really nice hot magenta. It was inspired by an antique French wallpaper design with the silhouetted roses being done in, uh, I drew them in ink. And so they have this really nice broken textured quality and it, actually gives them kind of a block print effect. The second colorway is called Moss, and it's a combination of two really rich greens, one kind of a medium green and the other being kind of an olive green that you'll find in a lot of the other designs. 
trellis was painted in gouache and these colors are just so alive and beautiful. The pattern includes roses and daisies and primroses, pansies and cherries and even strawberries here in the background. It's just so happy and bright and it has kind of a stripe a striping uh, quality to it and you can cut up these stripes and use them as a border design. A piecery is so bright and just so vibrant and lovely with all of these other patterns. The background is a brilliant fuchsia and on top of that there are some silhouetted flowers and kind of a magenta and a really hot orange and then the typography on top of it is in peach and it is from some vintage French food packaging. So all the words are in French. It's really charming and it makes kind of a striped effect. The next pattern came from another page in my sketchbook that was painted in gouache. I was very inspired by a chinoiserie design that I saw. And this pattern is very, very lyrical and elegant. It has birds, bird cages, bows, umbrellas, and very whimsical vines swirling all over. I just think it's really fresh and delightful and it's a really nice contrast to some of the richer, more vibrant backgrounds. We need this uh, cream background as a relief for the eye. Sweet Briar is wild roses and primroses painted on a really nice rich plum background and these again were painted in gouache and the uh, design of this is done in a diagonal which is really interesting i love the the warm pinks and the cold pinks and the variation of colors both in the flowers and in the leaves where you pick up some aqua and some beautiful olives and even some purples in the leaves the way that the flowers and leaves naturally grow so it's a really nice uh, very subtle reproduction of the original illustration Thanks for stopping by today. I'd love to see what you make with my new Laurelwood collection for Free Spirit. Please tag me on Instagram at Brenda Walton. I hope you enjoy creating with Laurelwood.